If you like pull-ups and pullovers, this routine is for you. You don't have to worry about flexibility for this routine because we don't use a lot of it but what we do use is a lot of strength and that is more upper body strength as well yes specifically i'd say like grip strength too because yes. with the time that you have to hold the fabric for oh, can yeah. make it be yeah. a little bit more intense so you know if you haven't been training hammock for a little while maybe have some resin available for that yes and at the start taylor said if you love pull-ups and pullovers but also if you are trying to get better at them this is also a good routine to challenge yourself and to push yourself to be able to do a choreo that has both pull-ups and pullovers in them. Yes. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, welcome. On this channel, we break down different tutorials and routines for you across hoop, hammock, silks, and poles. So we practice those four apparatuses at home. And if you do the same thing, do subscribe to our channel. It's a great resource to have to train with. Yeah, and if you have somebody that you train with and you also want them to have access to all of the resources that we have been putting together for you, just send them an invite, share the channel with them so that they can also subscribe and we can continue to grow as one full community that love aerial arts so much. Yes. Okay, well, before we start, we need to do a quick safety check because we, of course, since we love our aerial arts, we want to practice for a long time. So we start off by checking our equipment, make sure everything is okay, check the rigging and everything. Make sure that you have a crash mat, don't practice without one. Make sure that you warm up well and cool down well before and after you practice aerial. You can find a bunch of warm up videos right up here. Like Karina mentioned before, do warm up your shoulders really well. So make sure you do that. We have a specific hammock one. We also have a longer warm up video. That would be great for this. Make sure that you're wearing the right clothing. Of course, active wear is recommended. Do you think we need to worry so much? Under the arms. I know I, it's just because I did it without spinning, but also if somebody is not used to do gripping under your arm and having the tension of the hammock pull underneath your arm, I would recommend wearing sleeves for this routine just to protect your arm and your knees as well. Yes, that's what I was going to mention. Yeah, and because we do hook our knees onto the fabric, making sure that you have something that covers the back of your knees will be helpful so you don't get those weird uncomfortable burns that I hate. So that's it for clothing. And of course, make sure that you have your spotting buddy. Make sure you have someone to practice with at home so that you can be safe at all times. They can be your GPS in the air, help you out. And if something happens, they're there to assist you or call someone. And this choreography was designed with a specific song in mind because the things that we do are done at specific times of the music. And unfortunately, because of the way YouTube works, you can't see it synced up to the music in this video. Instead, what we do in this video is we show you the choreography and we break it down for you. But if you wanna see this routine done to the music and to see what we had intended for it when we choreographed it, then do take a look at the short that we released for you. You can find a link to that right up here. And if you want to see it longer and bigger and better and you also want to get to see both of us do the routine then come back to the channel on Friday where we will release a YouTube video with both of us doing the routine synced up to the music so you can have a better understanding of what we had intended for it to look like synced up to the music. As always we will leave you a link to the song that we use along with the timing with which we get started down in the description below so that you can do that if you can't wait until Friday and you want to try it before you see it all synced up together. 
But again, if you can't wait until Friday, then you're also welcome to check out our Instagram profiles. We have links to them down below as well. And we also release the videos there on our Instagram profiles as well. Great, okay, now that we've covered everything, let's get started, yay. Hey guys, we're back to break down the hammock routine. And we're gonna start with our starting spin. Before you start the starting spin though, you do need to make sure that your hammock is completely unrolled, kind of free and flowy. Because we're gonna be doing a pose with the hammock open, it's a lot easier if you get this step done now so that you're not trying to unravel your hammock while you're in the air. So once you've done that and your hammock looks completely unknotted, we'll start with our hands up high and then you're gonna put your left foot in the fabric at about your knee, great. And then you're gonna pivot off of your right leg. Uh, make sure that you're under the rigging point as always so that you don't have a crazy wrecking ball like kind of spin. And then you're going to swing forward, pivoting off of that right leg. So after you've done a few spins, you're gonna go ahead and bring your right foot into the fabric, but you're going to stop so that the fabric is against your ankle and your shin. So do you wanna go, yes, perfect. Yeah, so it should look like this. When you've done that, you're going to release one hand and you're going to hold on to the outside fabric. From there, you can release your outside hand. You'll be holding up high with your inside hand to do this pose. From here, you can add some grace, you know, you know, pass your hand around you. And then you'll come, you'll turn to face back to the hammock and release that leg that is hooked on both sides. And then you're going to take your free hand and grab the free fabric that's in front. It should create this knot that you see right here. And then once you've had that knot, you'll see that the fabric will also slide up a little higher on your thigh, so it'll be kind of out of the way. Okay, so Karina's gonna show us everything together. So starting with your leg in, spin forward, and then you're going to bring your leg back, leg up, adjust your hands, release, add your grace, and then come back to face the fabric, grab both poles with the cross. Thank you, Karina. You're welcome. Are you ready, Karina? Are you ready for the pull up? Okay, so. <laughs> So we're starting from the pull, from the the fabric crossed in front of you. We're going to be doing a pull up. So you're going to pull the fabric apart from each other, and then at the same time you're going to pull yourself up. When you pull your legs up, your legs should be stagged like this, and you're looking up. Yep. And then from there you're going to pull yourself over into this ball position. If you look, your knees are going to be parallel with the fabric and also the, your shins. And then from there, you can slowly bring yourself down, making sure that the fabric lands at your hip. Perfect, yep. From there, you're going to hold high and pull your body up. Turn around, so one fabric is across your back, under your armpit, and you're gonna be pushing with your left hand. Great. From there, you're gonna hold your free leg behind you to make this pretty stag shape that you see here. Awesome. Can we continue? Okay. From this stag position, you're going to release your hands and you're gonna hold on on each side of the fabric, bring your knees together, pull yourself up, and then you're going to hook yourself, your knees on the free fabric, so not the fabric that has the wrap, the free one, and then you'll have a bunch of fabric on the side here that will be quite open, and that's what you're going to make the shape with. So then you're gonna use your inside leg, so that will be your lower leg, you're gonna use that to push the fabric away by straightening it in front of you. Yes, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and spin you so I can get a better shape here. And your shape should look something like this. And make sure that you keep your legs as straight as you can and bend that other leg that is hooked on the other pole. Yeah, and then from there you can release your leg, yes, from the fabric that's open, so just bring it back, and you'll have both legs hooked. You can make shapes with your shapes with your hands from here. And then when you're ready, you hold on to the free part of the fabric, release your legs from, uh, well, unhook your knees, and come back down, and that's the end. Thank you, Karina, for doing this two times, because I forgot to press record the first time. You're the best.
fun together. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave us a like. That really helps us out to tell the algorithm that other people like you would enjoy videos like the ones that we make, like this one. And also, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe as well before you leave. We want you to be a part of our little Ariel family. And yes, and if this routine was a little bit too strength intensive for you and you want something that's that works your muscle a little bit less, but you can focus on grace and you know pretty poses and spinning and all of this. We're leaving a video on screen for you. Do give this one a try. It's a really beautiful routine, and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Okay. Until next time. Bye. Bye.